Uh, I did this in flat, and uh, uh, it's some experiments I'm doing. I'm playing around. Uh, um, I did it um, without the music, unaware of the music. I've just been doodling, and then I've been taking my doodles into Flash and uh, replicating them and recoloring them and choreographing them around and generating several minutes of this stuff. And um, I showed it in another workshop that I, that I attend in, in Culver City, um, unrelated to your organization, but very nearby. And um, I was at a loss for music. I didn't <coughs> know what to do for music. And somebody said, why don't you try Morton Sabotnik's uh, Key of Songs? And so I went and found that and dropped it on. And it kind of halfway worked. So now I'm in, this, in the middle <coughs> position of trying to figure out whether to use that music and to massage the animation to fit the music. Any synchronization that you saw in there between the animation and the music was pretty much coincidental. I just took two, there was only one cut you saw in there. I found two sections that I liked, I kind of stuck them together, fit them, kind of slid them a little bit. There were a couple places that sunk up maybe, and that's as far as I went. Um, so it's, it's something I have to work with now, finish, uh, solve, um, uh, try to figure out if I'm going to keep that music. I like it. I really like that music. And uh, I just have to be, get real clever now and try to get the flow of, the zen flow of the animation that I was doing, which I did unaware of the music, to try to mash it in to fit the music. And in doing so, I will have committed a real cardinal sin in abstract animation, which is to find a piece of music and make your animation fit with it, which is in fact what the previous two films did. But you'll find um, a, a lot of blanket dismissal of that type of work in the visual music uh, field because it's considered uh, music illustration. And unless the visuals really drive the structure, you'll find yourself dismissed by a lot of serious um, people. So everything I do is kind of dismissed by the serial, serious visual music uh, artists. Anybody that illustrates music is like, you know, down here. So I count myself among that group. <laughs> so one day I'll graduate to a place where I can just do the animation and hand it to a composer. Which I could do now if I knew a composer, but I just don't know anybody as good as Morton Spotnik or anybody that I trust. He's dead now. And, um, if you know anybody, let me know. Because I'd love to be able to just hand that animation off and say, give me something as good as that Morton Spotnik award winning epic that he did. And have it fit the animation, by the way, too. So, am I moving around too much? Nope. So, I'm really wide. Any questions about this piece? Anything that really struck you? Well, that, that is something I'd like to see. I would like to see the music interpretation from a musician instead of from a visual artist. I think that would be the greatest fear of that piece. Um, to have which? <laughs> to have the, the... To go out and hire yourself a composer who would, instead of you having to use your own words, mash your animation into yeah. musical themes. Find a composer that matches the, the original tech you're going to score while you're animating that would be I think that'd be fascinating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well that would that would just take a, a partner, a musical partner, that's what that would take. In that case I'm, I'm I have a lot of stuff that's ready to be handed off to a musician. <laughs> that's the case. Did you learn that from Jules Engel? Uh no, I'm not sh Yeah, I think so. Probably, yeah. A lot of quotes on our site from him saying that, espousing that philosophy. Yeah, yeah. That now, Fischinger, of course, uh, a real pillar in, 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 in this work, and, and I suppose the role model for Jules, too, was someone who illustrated music mm -hmm. and had a pretty good reputation doing it. Mm -hmm. He got kicked out of Germany. But he made a certain mark for himself. And what do you think of Butte? Do you think that she was a... Um, he was a major influence on She her. was illustrating the music, very definitely. She was using the structure of that music to hang her visual ideas on. 
There were some very tight things in there. There was a dun 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 dun, dun and she was doing a little zoom on the checkered background mm -hmm. and a little twist, and she hit every beat, dun 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 dun, dun, dun like that. She was very faithful to it, paying real attention to it. Mm -hmm. so what do you think, in terms of your experience of it, the first two pieces we saw, the music was written and then the animation was done to that music. The third piece, of course, the music is kind of... Was found and thrown on. Right. Was, uh, in terms of your experience of the rhythmic quality of that, was that a drastic difference, or was it mostly in terms of the same? Would you have picked out the distinction, necessarily? Yeah. Perhaps if it had gone on longer, but we didn't really have a chance to, to kind of uh, mediate. Like yeah, my piece is a two-minute clip, yeah. a little shorter than the other two.